Welcome back to Showplace. Oh look, examine the bucket again. Let's see. Aha! Victim's Memoirs, 5-5. Five, five. Now you know it's serious, but I just saved, so it's okay. Oh, oh, what the? The power stone in Yoshiki's pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. I think I just heard Miss Yui's voice. Don't read it, she said, but it couldn't be, could it? If you are reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumbed to my hunger and thirst. Began nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavor, no sensation. Just meat and fluid to sate my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore. But I broke that promise. Please. Forgive me. Shinazaki! Shinazaki! What? No? Uh-huh. What did... What the hell was in my mouth? Tastes like blood, but... Uh, no, it can't be. Shirazaki! Shirazaki! This is definitely her, but why? Who the hell did this to you? Who was it? I'll make them pay. Huh? Shinozaki's Testament. It's a yellowed school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. A short message has been hastily scribbled in pen on the reverse side. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be eaten. He's chasing me, and I can't keep running. If anyone should find this paper... I urge you, bring him to justice. The one who killed me for sustenance. My classmate. Kishinuma. Crunch nibble. Crack splutter. Wrong end. Ugh. Ugh. I feel gross. That was sick. But don't worry, I got a strong stomach. I won't puke. Doo doo doo. Back in time. Don't read the note. Bye, note. Bye.
There's a severed head of an old-fashioned festival doll laying on the ground here. Pick it up. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. What the? I hear a voice. Return my body? Acquired antique doll head. I can't go in here, can I? No, I still can't. Back downstairs. Don't read the note. Don't read the note. Anything? Human hair? Bugs? From the window, only a deep, immutable darkness can be seen. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark. Shinozaki, scary. Hey, Shinozaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. Uh, how about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. <sighs> yeah, it is. Ah, <gasps> uh, I should probably save. They gave me a candle to do it, so... Still can't go over there. Can't do anything with it. Newspaper? Given by Mayu contains a photograph of the four kidnapping murder victims. I only see three. Protects its bearer from harm. Let's go. Be nice, ghosty. I'm trying to help you. Do I go over here? Uh, this looks new. There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Pick it up. Yes. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. <laughs> what the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head? Acquired Antique Doll Body As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, methodical, and almost robotic monotone. To have killed children so brutally. I was not in my right mind. I did not want them to die. I was scared too. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. I am actually a good person. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. 
Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like, it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? Acquired penitent spirit. Penitent. Sorry. I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. Give me a tag. Alright, don't. TV static. I don't remember being able to get over here. It won't open. Well, let's go try it. Back to the infirmary. Bye, ghosty. I hope this helps. Nice little save. Suzumoto! Open your eyes, please. Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the penitent spirits sealed within. Oh, she misses her mommy. Mommy! You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones... Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I, I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. <gasps> no, stop! They didn't even open the door. That's rude. Yumi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. <laughs> ah. Is she? No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Seiko stepped in her classmate. Uh. What the hell? This isn't. It couldn't be. So. Shirazaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore. Oh, she stepped in it. 
I mean her. Uh, Yoshiki, get out of that. I'm, I'm really starting to lose it. She not Ew. Uh. What? The shell feels like it's gotten lighter. Ah! So, you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am. But you're just their instructor now. You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. <laughs> I think I speak for every single one of us at Kizuragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. <laughs> Never underestimate a teacher. <laughs> now, answer me this. The little rat earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with, and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporeal entities joined us in these close spaces, all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. Uh, my right arm is definitely broken. All this blood. All those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. Well, that was Chapter 2. At least we know Miss Yui is safe. Her and her little panda necklace. And... That's kind of all we know. So I'll see you then.